I'm Savannah Uten, and you're watching Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I am here right now with Savannah Uten. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm very good. You just played an awesome set here at Playlist. How's it going so far? So good. Um, this is my first time at Playlist, and it's been pretty fun. Um, a lot going on. It's really crazy, but it's been a good time. Absolutely. Well, we are going to start with some finished sentence questions for you. Ooh, okay. All right. Now, your favorite viral video is... Um, I know there's so many to choose from. It's a little overwhelming. So many, and honestly, I don't even know if this one's viral, but um, okay, I have two. So okay. there's one from Lenny Pepperbottom. He's Nature what? Walk. It's like you've never seen that. No. He's like that's pretty neat, and he's like N in nature, and he's like this is what I like to call nature. You've never seen that. Okay, I, maybe <laughs> somebody watching has seen it. So fill me it's in. So funny. And then have, do you know Flula? Yeah. So he does this one thing, um, it's a, like a vlog, and he talks about how he heard one of his friends call themselves a party pooper, and he didn't take that term, like he thought something different. Oh. <laughs> it's really funny. Now I really need to find yeah. that one too, because I haven't seen either one of these. Oh, I'm really anything, missing out. Anything Jake and Amir, uh -huh. um, I mean, ugh. There's, there's a lot. I'm, like, all about the comedy. Like, yeah. I mean, I only really know the musicians on YouTube because mm, yeah. we're all, like, friends and in the same group and stuff. But if I'm not watching, like, music videos, I'm watching funny, funny videos, like, all of the comedians on YouTube. I think you should start a comedy channel. Oh, my gosh. Thanks. <laughs> I think you should. And then you could get in with all the comedy people, make yeah. friends. Why oh not? Gosh, I would love to be friends with Jake and Amir. I met, him, I met Amir one time, and he mm. tweeted me that night. Well, we got a fangirl a little bit. I think that's what Playlist is really all about, isn't it? It is. It's about fangirling, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and now, I think you might have kind of answered this question a little bit, but if you could collaborate with anybody, it would be... Um, okay, so it used to be Miranda Sings, but I got oh. to check that off the list. Oh, that's right. You yeah. did do a video um, with her. I've been a fan of hers for like six plus years. And so I was um, just so starstruck. Like I was dying in the studio. I was so excited. I kept texting my mom. I was like, she is here. She's real in the flesh. Um, and she's here at Playlist <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, I saw so. her last night at the Yay, party. Awesome. And uh, yeah, she's just the sweetest. But Anyways, uh, Miranda, well, Colleen was my first. I would love to do one with Colleen, too, because she's got a phenomenal right. voice. That's like two different people, yeah. basically. <laughs> um, but, gosh, I don't know. Um, I'd have to say... I'd have to say, like, Jake and Amir or something. Like, mm -hmm. do, like, a funny thing. Because um, I love comedy, and I love SNL and sketches and stuff, so that would be pretty rad, yeah. Yeah, well, let's make it happen, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> They're watching. You never know, right? You never know. And now the most played song in your music library is... <sighs> Aside from any of your own, obviously. I mean, what? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you never know these days. Um, I think that it's a tie between Just the Way You Are, Baby to Mars. Ooh. I mean, I that... It's still a great song. I love it. But, yeah. like, when it came out, that's all I listen to. It's at, like, 350 plays on Whoa. my iTunes. I'm, like, so obsessed with it. Um, the new one is Magic by Coldplay. I really love Good that. One. And um, I'm trying to think what else is up there. Um, like, probably something by Justin Timberlake because he's mm. my boy. Yeah. Um, but then, like, right now, I love listening to uh, the 1975. I am so happy you said Yay, that. Yay, really? Okay. Yes, I um, love them. I'm now obsessed. you got me. Yeah. Okay. I love Definitely it. Obsessed. I can't understand. They're just like, oh, I say I like chocolate. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the British accent, I think, kind it's of. It's pretty great, though. I love it. But yeah, they're yeah. amazing. And now, if you could trade places with any YouTuber for a day, Ooh. it would be. That's. Such a good one. Um, trade like one day in anybody's one shoes. Day in, in any YouTuber's yes. shoes. Um, anybody here at playlist? Yeah, I mean, I would, I would love to um, see what it's like to be Chester C. Ooh, because and I just interviewed him. We could have totally so set funny. this up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that guy! I just did a panel with him, and he's a good friend. And oh my gosh, he, I. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what he that boy thinks. Yeah, yeah he's sharp, so that would be an interesting he's sharp. one. He's sharp. He's smart. He mm -hmm. knows his stuff. Um, or <laughs> Miranda Sings. <laughs> I mean, just a day with the lipstick. I just, Why not? I just don't want to be her. <laughs> and now, last finish a sentence. You were the most starstruck when you met... Steve Carell. 
Really? How'd you meet him? Uh, I was at uh, this event in LA for uh, the Lollipop Network, which is this incredible organization that brings um, movies that are in the theaters to uh, hospitalized kids. And um, he was there and he supports the cause and I was just literally like speechless Aww. yeah and my friend who was taking the picture was like all right on the count of three say that's what she said and he said it because that's his like phrase on the office and yeah yeah it was it was amazing I was pretty obsessed with that moment that is so cool yeah, it's it's still my backdrop on my laptop really and, and that happened years and years ago my oh. friends are like you you need to change that I have like blonde oh. hair I've like my veins are sticking out I'm just so excited I'm smiling so big but yeah <laughs> no, that was a pretty great moment never change it keep that <laughs> wallpaper forever <laughs> Ever and ever. Yeah, and you are known on YouTube for your, your covers that mm -hmm. you do, which are amazing, by the way. Thanks. Shout out to everybody who should check them out. Um, but how do you decide what song you want to cover? And once you've got that figured out, what's your creative process? Um, I think it depends. I definitely think that um, what's hot on the iTunes charts is important, and uh, I take that into consideration. Um, but at the same time, I've done a lot of old school stuff, like uh, a few Beatles covers, Jeff Buckley, um, just because like it's my channel and like I want to put out what I love and what I'm proud of and I feel like um, the audience will just really like that as well like if, if I yeah. if I look like I'm having fun or um, like I did a cover of Hallelujah and I worked so hard on that cover and I just like put everything into that and um, people really liked it back so um, it just depends you know of course there's like some songs where I'm like oh, it's like really popular right now but do I want to cover it oh, yeah. And it's like, maybe if I do my own spin on it, like I, I did I Knew You Were Trouble. Mm. Not a huge fan of that song, but, sorry, I know a lot no, of people no, love it. But I was like, okay, what if I just like stripped it down completely? And um, and then I was like, okay, this is cool. This is my own, you know, I'll, I'll see, see what happens. But yeah, it just depends. It's like... You never know. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> tricky because, I mean, you got to do what you love. You know, you can't just do what's popular because it's popular. Right. And I have a lot of respect for you for, you know, only doing the kind of stuff you like to do. Thank you. Yeah, Thank it's important for YouTubers to do what they yeah, love. Yeah, I think so. And aside from your covers, you also have your own original music. I remember, like, I kid you not, grew up listening to you on Radio Disney. Oh, my gosh. Like, I, yeah, I, that's how I found out about you, through okay. your Radio Disney songs. And, well, they weren't Radio Disney songs. Your songs on Radio Disney. Right, right, right. Um, But can you fill us in on your original music? Do you have any anything yeah. coming out that you're working on yeah. yeah um so that whole you know journey was so great radio Disney is so um wonderful to me but um now like my music original stuff is more you know uh grown up and mature um so i released an ep called sing to me um all originals that i wrote or co-wrote um in october of 2012 or 2013 i can't remember yikes um I can't believe that it's March. Like, it literally blows my I mind. I know. <laughs> but anyways, um, so now, so that was like a very raw, organic EP that I'm, I'm super proud of, but um, I'm really excited with where things are now. I just signed with new management, um, Vector Management, shout out. They have some of my favorite artists, The Fray, yeah. Kings of Leon, um, oh. they have Kesha. Oh, so nice. I'm just like really, really excited, and um, the stuff that, you know, is happening is awesome and I'm just stoked that things are finally moving in like the right direction and the producers I'm about to work with are so talented and I'm just really excited to announce it but I can't yet and I'm just like why uh, but uh, yeah so New music soon, lots of new stuff soon, and I couldn't be more excited, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know you're saying it's gonna be more mature, but what kind of style of music? Like, what's it gonna sound like, sort of, approximately? Um, I've always wanted to be a female Ryan Tedder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, um, I just love being on stage with a band. Um, I wanna make like positive music. Like, I feel like there's not like a ton of girls out there right now doing like, you know, empowerment, like like Brave by Sarah Bareilles. Yeah, that's such a good song, such an incredible message. Like I just love it. Um, so you know, some stuff like that, and yeah, I just want to like have fun and like create and just start working and see what comes out of it. Um, I think that's the best. Whatever comes organically. Yeah. yeah. And now you're getting me really excited about this music. When are we gonna me get too. to hear it? Is there a sort of a timeline of a, uh, I don't maybe know because one? I haven't even made it yet. <laughs> I mean, no. I write every okay. single day, but I'm going into the studio with them, um, I think end of April, that's okay. what they're telling me, but this business is always um, a little off, so we'll <laughs> see, but um, but yeah, I mean, you should hear it kind of in the next few months, at least a single. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I'll count on that, yes. maybe, possibly. Me too. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. And what has been the highlight of your career so far? Over the years, you've done a lot. So what has been the number one moment for you? Um, I think the thing that comes at the top of my head is uh, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Oh, yeah. I got to um, be on a float and sing, and that was just a childhood dream of mine. I had always, always hoped that someday I would, you know, be able to um, be a part of that. And they randomly emailed me one day. I was in Wisconsin for a show, and they emailed me, and I was like, pull the car over! Pull the car over! It's like, this email is really, really cool. Listen to what I have to say. And um, and it, it kind of just happened really fast from that point. And they're like, okay, you're going to be on the Zuzu Pets float. You're singing this song, bada bing, bada boom. And it was incredible. And yeah. they flew out my best friend, my nana and papa, my parents. Um, stayed in the nicest hotel ever. It was just like, it was so cool. Such an amazing experience. And um, yeah, something I'll never forget. So yeah. I think that that's probably the best one. Especially because I got to share it with the most like important people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was really cool. And what was it like sort of behind the scenes of the parade? That's something I've always wondered. It's it's craziness. I imagine um, chaos. I forgot who I shared the bus with. It was a band. I think it was Hot Shot Ray. I don't remember. But um, it's really it's really interesting. It's like you you take a few photos and then you go on a little like uh, cart, like a golf cart, and then they, they drive you to your... Um, float and then you just stand on there for a few minutes and then you just start going and you're just you're you're just on the float waving to people for three hours and then you get to um the macy's you know town square shop or whatever and then you sing so right yeah it's like so intense and my for some reason my dad like walked the whole entire thing he like became friends with the guy and was like hey can i can i walk with my daughter and, and i just like look and i'm like hey dad it was it was so funny but yeah that it, it's, awesome. it's pretty cool behind the scene you are here meeting a lot of your fans after your performance you were hanging out with a lot of your fans um what has been the craziest fan experience you've encountered here or just like in, in general? general in general um, my fans are really cool. Like, they're really cool. Um, especially here, like, they have just been so sweet and, like, down earth and really, really nice. Like, just all of them are like, we've been here since the beginning. Like, I can't believe it. And it just, like, makes my heart smile. Like, it's so cool. Um, the craziest, I wouldn't say, I mean, it's just, like, the weirdest one is that um, these group of girls gave me this pizza box with no pizza in it and I was like Thank what a you. letdown yeah and they like had me sign it but then I got to keep it it was really interesting um, <laughs> but yeah I mean my, like my fans are just really cool yeah they're they're, 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 they're really chill, chill. Yeah, yeah they're really cool yeah. and I think the thing is because you're so popular on YouTube we've inspired a lot of other people to start doing covers and start their own channels um, so what are your top three tips for aspiring youtubers um, that's a good one. I think the first one is making uh, content that you love. Mm -hmm. um, because if you're making stuff that, you know, you're like making yourself do it and you don't like it, it's going to show through and you're not going to seem genuine. Yeah. Um, the second thing is just have fun. Be really like low key about it. I think a lot of people go into it being like, okay, um, I need to hit 10,000 subscribers by this week, you know, and like, and kind of, you know, figure it all out and plan it out. But um, I think just let it happen organically. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Um, third thing is try and collaborate. Oh, I think a that's a good one. Um, Especially things like playlists help you to get collaborations because yeah, yeah. you're networking it's, here. It's not even like, you know, collabing with some big YouTuber or whatever, but like coming to playlists or VidCon or something, like if this is what you really want to do, like being in this community and meeting a ton of people is really awesome. Yeah. And plus it's like so much fun. So Yeah. Well, yeah. great advice. That was awesome. Thanks. And thank you so much for hanging thank out. You. This has been awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and everybody watching, make sure you subscribe to Savannah's channel. She's amazing. And also subscribe to our channel for more interviews. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>